EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Charity Invitational. Always great to be in Troon, Scotland at the Royal Troon Golf Club, founded in 1878. Frank, it is a golf course, true links, bathed in history. This is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Rich, with a lie like that in the rough, you're going to get too much grass between club face and ball. You're going to have to adjust for that and at least take a club or two more. Frank, how good was that just to get it on the green? Well, from that shot there, you would have thought for sure that there was no chance he had of finding the green. That was some shot. No damage done. Made the par. Now at the 15th at Royal Troon Golf Club, 483-yard par four. This, Frank, is one of the hardest holes in the course. It's certainly a stout par four at that distance. Um, if you're playing it into a head breeze, then 260 yards is certainly going to be a big tee shot. But 260 yards takes all the bunkers out of play. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. He can't be that good. Oh, nice strike, Rich. Not quite directly in line with the flag. Just drifting a bit to the right, but he'll settle. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. is some good work right there. Birdie, one shot closer to the lead. The back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five, and here it is, Frank. At 542 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997, playing alongside Tiger Woods, and he still managed to get it onto the green from behind the burn. It was some shot. You knew at that point he was something special. He certainly was. He then knocked it in from 40 feet for an eagle three. Nice drive, right in the fairway, and a good swing on that one. Frankie could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And, Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at eagle coming up. That was just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. Settles in over the putt. Wow, Frank, I did not expect that. Eagle. Final part three here at Royal Troon. It's the 17th, and what kind of a hole is it, Frank? Well, this takes your best long iron shot. Normally plays back into the prevailing breeze. You miss the screen on the left, it will run all the way down the hill. The bunkers might look short, but if your tee shot isn't hit properly, it'll puff up into that breeze and certainly find a pot bunker. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. A 
Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. No mistake made there with Park. Frank, now the final hole here at Royal Troon, and when you think about the legends who have made the walk toward the clubhouse and the claret jug, it really does give you a sense of where you're at. How about Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, Tom Watson, Tom Weisskopf? They've all made the walk on this final hole to the claret jug. And they've all hit great tee shots, and that's really what you need here. There's a bunker for just about every distance you hit the ball. So there's three down the left. There's no other way around it but avoiding them. And there's one down the right if you try and play it too safe. Frank, this is a hole, number 18, where you don't want to be in a hurry to get to the clubhouse. Yeah, there's out of bounds um, just off the back of this green, so uh, you might want to keep that in the back of your mind. Don't go long. Yeah, OB is just steps from the clubhouse. safely on deck. Not quite where he was aiming, but still enough room to get it up and down. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. So they'll tap in. Rich, with so few holes left, bogeys are just that much more expensive. And that will really hurt his chances of catching the leader. Thank you. 